Hi, welcome to Hardworking Man. Today we have a little bit different of an episode and we're going to talk to an entomologist who is an expert on oak wilt. I know a lot of people in the firewood business are curious about what causes oak wilt and what they can do about it, if anything, and just to learn everything about it. So I'm here with Jim Lauderman. He is an entomologist at the Field Museum in Chicago. So if you want to have an expert tell you everything you need to know about oak wilt, we have them for you. Okay, so I do work at the Field Museum. I work on insects at the Field Museum. I have been learning a lot about what causes oak wilt because it's mostly being caused by a beetle. It is true that oak wilt is caused by root to root contact, mm -hmm. but that takes a long time for the roots to go from one tree to many other trees. But these beetles, they're nitidulids, which are sap beetles, and when an oak tree has a wound, it bleeds basically, bleed sap. So that's a very, very slow spread of the disease, and it is actually a fungus. So these little beetles that are called nitidulidae is the family, and they're sap beetles. When the tree gets a wound and it starts bleeding sap, the beetles come to eat the sap. And the mold, or the fungus, makes a spore pack that's on the bark of the tree so when the beetles come to eat the sap, they walk through the spores, picking them up on, up on their body. They eat some of the sap, then they go and fly to another tree that is not infected, walk onto the tree, walk into the sap, put the spores in the sap, sap go into the heartwood of the tree, and the uh, spores hatch and form a, a mold, fungus or a mold, which then spreads through the entire tree and kills the tree. Because the beetles can fly a fairly long distance, they can probably fly a couple thousand yards easily. Mm -hmm. They can spread it a long distance. And when this disease hits an oak tree, it can actually kill a healthy oak tree in anywhere from three months to a year and a half. Wow. So what is it? What is this disease? How are they getting it to be spreading it? Okay, oak wilt was first introduced in the United States in 1973 in Wisconsin. That's the first time it was ever detected. So the beetles are all native beetles. They've all been here forever. Mm -hmm. But the fungus actually comes from oak trees in South America. How it got here, nobody knows. Was some lumber brought up from South America that wasn't treated or wasn't had anything done to it to kill the spores? Probably. Mm made lumber or pallets or packing crates, and it came up in the wood. The wood was fresh, so the beetles came to it, picked up the spores, and started spreading it to trees. And in the last four or five years, the spread has really, really accelerated. Why it's taken 60 years to really start accelerating, nobody really knows. Does it have anything to do with the warmer winters and summers? Nobody really knows. Uh, they are saying that if you're going to cut oak firewood, don't cut it after the 1st of March because then the beetles could be present. Hmm. So other than that, is there anything that we have found that can help stop the spread of this? They're trying, the U.S. Forest Service and uh, the U.S. Department of Agriculture are doing some work on trying to find if girdling the trees might, might help. Or, of course, we're also cutting trees as soon as we find out that they are infected. Mm -hmm. And as soon as that you cut the tree, of course, there's no flow, so there's no more sap. So that's really the only way to stop it. And the roots die very quickly. Okay. Yeah, because I know a lot of people talk about when you're, like, trimming oak trees to only do it at certain times of year mm -hmm. or you cause the oak wilt. So that is also true, but this is a more rapid spreading way. This is a more rapid spreading way. So, so the pruning of oak trees, what happens when you prune them after March 1st or March 15th, something like that, then the trees bleed the sap. The beetles come to it and move it around. Okay. So it's safe to cut before March and beginning of March, mm -hmm. but when is it okay to start again? So it's probably okay to start as soon as there's been a frost in your area because the frost is going to kill the, the nitidulids, so then they can't spread it. So if you cut it from, well, what's the first frost, the end of September, end of October, yeah. depending on where depending you're at. Depending on your area. Mm -hmm. Just whenever there's a first frost, you can start cutting again. Okay. So are all oak trees affected by this? or is, I know there's different species mm -hmm. of oak. All species of oak can be infected. 
Uh, the only one that it really seems to kill is the red oak. Okay. The white oaks, the bur oaks, the, the pin oaks, and all of, most all of the other oaks that aren't actually red oaks usually can recover from it. Occasionally they die, but usually they recover. So, but it's still the same rule of thumb for cutting any type of oak, whether it's okay. white, bur, or any mm -hmm. type. Is there any risk of this being spread to different species besides an oak tree? Probably not, uh, because it is something that in South America, which has a whole lot more oaks than North America does, mm. it only affects oak trees. Okay. And at this point, pretty much the only ones that are really being affected in South America are the ones that are in the red oak family. Okay. So how does this differ between like the ash borer that came and decimated versus this? Okay. So the difference with, with the ash borer, the ash borer, it's actually the beetle, the larvae of the beetle eating through the circulatory system, the xylem and phloem of the tree, cutting off nutrients to the canopy of the tree and killing the tree. So the beetles are actually killing okay. the tree with the emerald ash borer, where this is actually the fungus that's okay. killing the trees. All right, so if a tree is killed by the oak wilt and then you cut it and split it up, is that safe to burn then? Again, pretty much only if you cut it after the first frost and before March. Okay. Because the trees still have sap in it, they still have spores in it. So the beetle can come to a tree that's dead and cut down on the ground just as well as it can come to a tree that's standing in line. The okay. spores are always there. Okay. As far as burning it, it's fine. You just burn the spores. Something about, like like uh, Dutch elm disease and emerald ash borer, the only way it's really going to be stopped is for all of the red oak trees to die. Mm. Then, as it spreads further, the trees that are fr die first, you're going to have an area that doesn't have any trees. And as that widens out, then you can start planting trees in the middle and leave a buffer zone that the beetles can't fly back. So how are we seeing it like spread from state to state? Are there certain states that are getting it worse? There are certain states. It's pretty much a upper Midwest, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Minnesota, northern Iowa, that seem to be hit, being hit hardest right now. Uh, but as the beetles fly, they mm. are going to move it southeast and west from where it started in Wisconsin. Okay. Uh, it's not going to be a big problem in Canada because they don't have any oak trees. Good to know. <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully you learned something new. I know this is uh, very fascinating to us because this isn't something that you just happen to know. So luckily we ran into you mm -hmm. and we thank you so much for answering mm -hmm. our questions. Mm -hmm. And yeah. This, this is way more important to you because firewood is your living basically yeah for me it's just cutting firewood for fun and burning in my wood burning mm -hmm. stove uh, but it's important to me to preserve the oak trees for the future right right all right well thank you You're we welcome. appreciate it thank you yeah. well thank you for watching hardworking man and have a great day have a great day everybody